Welcome back. Luckily, it auto saved before. Uh, I'd, I'd only been in Paris for a week. Never mind. But already, I'd fallen in love with the city. My latest discovery was a little cafe, La Chandelle Verte. I was pretty sure the waitress was taking a shine to me. That old Stobart charm, I guess. Little did I know my reverie was about to be so rudely interrupted. <laughs> so, like, I'm definitely seeing difference in, like, style of animation between things, so I wonder, like, just little extra things were added in? See, and now he looks hand animated. As I animated. myself up, I was really angry. <laughs> One minute I'm on vacation, the next minute some clowns blown me up. I knew right away what I was going to do. I was going to find that clown and bring him to justice. Because justice matters. Justice is up there with liberty, and equality, and, uh, fraternity. After all, that's why I'd studied law, wasn't it? Well, that and the money, of course. Okay, so... Wait, what is his name? Is he George? Are you George? I don't remember his name. Uh, cafe exploded. Killed a guy. Nearly killed me. Um, okay. I considered straightening the Whoa. Table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. Yeah, you can definitely tell. Like, that was... This is old audio. The big story was about the brutal murder of a French media magnet, shot down in cold blood. The guy oozed confidence, like a regular French statesman. I noticed the writing at the foot of the page. It read, Salah Eddin, 1345. How fortunate. The leading article referred to the visit of a Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Not even gonna try. The big story was about the brutal murder. The guy... Wow, that's really kind of jarring. <laughs> I considered straightening the table, but I figured it best not to disturb the evidence. But, I mean, what are you going to do? Like, make your new voice clip sound bad on accident? Or pr on purpose, I mean? I hope the fact that the mirror was already broken meant I'd escape the bad luck. Well, why did you do that? <laughs> the mirror is smashed into a thousand pieces. Bad luck for someone. Poor guy. Oh, oh no, who's under there? He's pretty mashed up. That was the. He was pretty mashed up. Plant hard gut. Oh man, that sounded wrong when I said it. Sorry, I. He was I don't know how to say French words. Um. Hello, lady. Oh my head! Never again. How much vodka did I drink? No, don't tell me. What is your name, Shelley? George Stobart, ma'am. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. I feel sick, dizzy, and bruised. I don't even remember the party. Just relax and take it easy. You've been knocked out. You don't say. What well, happened? Well, look There's around. There's been an explosion. You should try not to move. Are you a doctor? Uh, were there in opposite order here? No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. Can you remember anything at all? No. I need a drink. Pour me a brandy. Um, I don't know how alcohol, you know, how it affects people with concussions, possibly. Or with ice? Just give me the bottle with a teat on it. I guess a a teat? little drop won't hurt. Ah, that's better. She knocked back the brandy as if it was water. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. Oh. You okay? Hey, wake up! She didn't respond. If I wanted another cappuccino, I'd have to serve myself. You're awfully nonchalant for someone who just experienced some terrorism. But I guess this was... The sight the... of the dead guy's staring eyes turned my knees to jelly. I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. 
No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. This was in 1996, originally. Okay, I think there's... I thought there was a place over there. Uh, I can... I examined the jagged glass remaining in the window. It was broken, all right. Almost like a broken sword. Or something. Oh no! Hold it right there. Whoa, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make shoot him. Demand, huh? I demand to see the American consul. Drop your weapon and get down on the ground. Put that thing away, Sergeant Moo. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Ah, uh -huh. uh, no. I would simply like to ask you some questions. En avant, to the cafe. Marche. What a mess. This bombing is an outrage, is it not? Stop that, monsieur. Oops, sorry. Does it occur <laughs> to you that he may be dead? Moo? Oui, monsieur. But I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by feigning death. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Examine the girl and take her statement, if you can. I mean, I kind of let her, you know, hey, to drink, business. drink the booze. Your name, please? George Stobart. I'm from California. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year, no? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Apart from the bomb blasts. Were you in the vicinity of the cafe at the time of the explosion? Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Yes, I did. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. Did you see anyone else in the cafe? A clown? Yeah, there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Bon. The picture is forming in my mind, <laughs> and it is not a pretty one. Is the girl all right, Moo? She'll live if she survives the hangover. She doesn't remember seeing a clown, monsieur. That's odd, don't you think, monsieur? Who am I to believe, I wonder? I'm sober. I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. I hope this little incident does not spoil the rest of your vacation. Not spoil my vacation. What about vacation? my personal safety? Can't you at least give me some advice? What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. And don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. My card. Thanks. That is all. You may go. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. <coughs> but what lurks inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Is that reference for later? Oh, hey, there's her. Um, so I am gonna pause that again. Boop. And let's look at this. This is the PlayStation version. I just want to see what it looks like. So we did that. See, it showed originally. It showed like the high-res comic book style thing of her coming out, and it had some extra ta dialogue of him talking. And then there's the clowny boy. He stole a briefcase. Ugh. 
Okay, I'm interested in seeing what the dialogue looks like when they talk. Loading, loading. As I picked myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless mm. drone of traffic. So none of those Life character portraits. The umbrella had the umbrella. Huh. The leading article. Okay, well, that was interesting. Let's continue. So, well, wait a minute. She wasn't in the, she wasn't there originally, was she? Because that doesn't, that looks like the, is that the 3D model or the hand-drawn? Hmm. Let, quick inspection real quick. So he goes in, nothing, nothing. Oh, nope, she is there. Sure was. An expression more suited to the face. Okay, so, huh. Interesting. But in the first area, she was definitely like a CG model. Hi. Uh, my name's George Stobart. Oh, an American by the sound of it. Yep, that's right. On vacation in Paris. <laughs> Some vacation, huh? You were here when the bomb went off. Sure was. Sat right out in front of the cafe. Did you notice a middle-aged man, maybe 60, with a hat and overcoat? I couldn't believe it. She how do you know how old feeling. he was? Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm Nico Collard from La Liberté. Uh, what is that, uh, some kind of nightclub? Oh, no, it's a newspaper. You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Say, you could interview me about the bombing. An eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. You know, real-life drama, human interest, that kind of stuff. I'll just stick to the facts, thank you. Did you see who planted the bomb? I know it sounds crazy, but he was dressed like a clown. A clown? It's him again. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. I don't. <laughs> who was the guy you were supposed to meet? His name was Pointer. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Well, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Mm -hmm. How did Plantard get your name? Through the newspaper, La Liberté. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. The cases were remarkably similar. A wealthy victim, no apparent motive, and a costume killer. Plantard said he could supply me with more information. Well, somehow the clown must have known about our appointment. Oh no! Do you know a police officer called Rosso? Rosso? Our paths have a knack of crossing. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was deliberate. Have you seen Rosso? Is he here? He's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. More about the clown. Why won't you tell me about the clown? Why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me, isn't it? I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. You help me with my story, and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, uh, it's a deal. I have to go develop these pictures. I'll be on soon with you. Uh, fine, uh, I'll see you soon. Developing pictures. This is from the 90s. Sergeant Moo? Ah, Monsieur Stobart, n'est-ce pas? That's correct. You remember me. The retention of such data is part of my duty as a gendarme. That is our crime is fought through attention to detail, not intuition. Yes, yeah, sure. What is Rosso doing with that girl? He is giving her the once over, as you Americans say. Uh. Once he gets his teeth into a case, nothing will shake him off. I was one of the last people to see the victim alive, Sergeant. Does that worry you? Yes, it does. I feel I kind of... I owe it to him to find his killer. That is best left to the authorities, monsieur. Did he speak to you? Tell you anything? No. He just grinned and nodded. Don't let it trouble you, monsieur. Go home and try to forget. Don't think about the terrorism. I know the identity of the dead guy. His name was Plantau. Is that so? You knew him, did you? No, but... We'll know everything there is to know about him soon enough. I'm trying to be helpful here. The best way you can help us is to go home, monsieur. 
I found this in the street, Sergeant. Uh, that, monsieur, is a newspaper, no? There's a note written on it. Salah Eddin, 1345. Aha! That stumped you, hasn't it? I have never been stumped, as you put it, in my life, monsieur. It is the name assumed by the clown, no? Salah Eddin the clown? I don't think so. <laughs> Look, Sergeant, the inspector gave me his card. Yes, monsieur. He wants you to advise him if you have any information concerning this case. Well, I'd be glad to talk with him, but I don't want him working his psycho weirdness on me. Ah, no, monsieur. You are confusing the science of parapsychology with witchcraft. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? We don't do sacrifices. See you mm -hmm. later, sergeant. Okay, so I guess we'll continue this way. Hey, you! I thought you'd been arrested! No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics by quite a bunch, you know? He made a mistake. He thought I was a terrorist. You? A terrorist? Ha! He was only You're too blonde to be a terrorist. Did you see Wait a minute. Guy with a briefcase? Wait, silly old coot. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he said. I could watch it all day. Care beat. I could have knocked this block off. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Planta. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. <laughs> now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. If only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors in people. Did you see a clown come by this way? A clown? Like in a circus? Yeah, with makeup and a big red nose. Oh, those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? Some of us have to work for a living. Look, I know you're busy, but surely you'd have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. It'd be a poor sort of clown if he didn't. Mm. Listen, I have to find that clown. He's a killer. Say, who are you anyhow? A cop? No, of course not. I mean, do I look like a cop? No, but you act like one, sticking your nose in where it's not wanted. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. I wondered what that bang was. Any bodies? I just told yeah. you. An old man was killed. Man, I didn't think it was that serious. What about the waitress? Just oh, a normal fine. explosion. Well, Did here's a like newspaper. newspaper. I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You could read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. He'd have me on a drip. So I didn't have to stop to eat. Oh, Sounds like you need to be in a union. Okay. Ah. Look at these damn bleeding out liberals. Yeah. Save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Nah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those. Like champagne bottle corks, no? My ah, what's this? Saleh Dean running in the Prix de l'Arc de Triomphe. It's a racehorse? A horse? A legend. Bucephalus reborn, mon ami. Like a streak of lightning, she is. Okay, I Do guess. Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some um... money on that nag. What about your toolbox? Stop it. Help yourself. The. The. This doesn't seem very realistic, but but. I'm gonna go gamble. Uh, take the tools if you want. I found a T-shaped tool in the box. I didn't 
didn't know what it was, but it looked useful. Set into the huge gate was a smaller access door. The door was securely locked. Bang it open with the T-shaped tool. It was a metal rod with a handle at one end and a short cross piece at the other. Okay. What about this lunchbox, I suppose? Can I have a sandwich? Actually, sandwiches sound good right now. What? That's a phone? Hello, Nico Kula. Hello, it's George. Oh, hi. Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I guess. Adieu, monsieur. See you. Okay, well... We can't go in there currently, I assume, unless I can maybe bash it open with that tool. Oh, we can go in here. I think I used the tool for, yeah, this thingy. The clown had fled into this alley, but there was no sign of him now. I was intrigued by Nico and what she could tell me about the explosion. Look at the lights and the windows. I took a deep breath and prepared to climb the drain pipe. Why? Don't. I guess the clown had an escape over the rooftops. Doesn't even go up that tall. What do we got? It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Gross. Um. Ah! Kitty cats! Open it again. Sticking my nose into French trash cans. Okay. Um, so there's that. What's this? He's a box. There was nothing of interest. Well. My fingies. The was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. That's why we got this. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. That's usually what they store down in these things. You know, media growing up made me think I'd be going into the sewers a lot more than I have as an adult, which is never. But like, you know, in Final Fantasy VIII you go through the sewers. I don't know, I can't even list everything. I realized it was intended to be worn. <gasps> it's a it nose. The clown's red nose. Um. The nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words La Rise du Monde, Paris. It was a bright red plastic nose. Part of a clown's costume. But, yeah, just people going through sewers all the time. I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold. And it has the like grease paint. Like breakfast leftovers. He just left all of his stuff back behind, didn't he? I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. Yeah. Oh no. Hi there. Hold it right there, you you sewer rat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. <laughs> ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? I was looking for a clown. Ha! Ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? No. The cafe? Blown up? Mon Dieu! That is awful! And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah! Mon Dieu! Then, the man I chased, do you think that man and the clown are one and the same. 
Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah, that still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my wet pipes were such an attraction. Well, I don't know. Take Here's... a look at this false nose. I've never seen it before in my life. Okay, well, uh... Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm gonna find the guy responsible. I'll find him. Even if it means following him down every <laughs> sewer in every city in Europe. You're Bravo. quite dedicated. Right. You need some sensible boots. You won't get far with those uh, stupid sneakers. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she isn't hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> Sound the yeah, most you... dangerous kind of tourist. I don't know. <laughs> also, it surprised me that the police had a gun. Do the French police have guns? What is to tell? He was a typical criminal type. <laughs> Just like you. Because, like, if we were in America, then basically, I mean, not everyone would be carrying a gun. I don't was have a gun. you saw carrying a briefcase? I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave? Or do I have to call the police? But... Yeah, he would have just, you know, possibly shot George coming up out of the the thing because he's in his property. He would have been like, yeah, just shoot him. What does this tissue mean to Cause, you? Because America... It's, it's, uh, disgusting. What on earth possessed you to show it to me? Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. Sorry. Uh. Do you recognize this material? I am not telling you anything. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? <laughs> mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid division? Hominoid? Uh, homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. You're gonna get in trouble your for, uh... Your, your poise. Imitating poise. the police. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And I should know. I was in the army, you know. When I was your age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? Is that related to the stuff I uncovered earlier? Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock. His face, oh, no. suddenly next to mine, his grip was like iron. But did not know what he was up against. Oh no, he made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Hmm. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? You, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, sir. I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe, or Six, seven months ago, I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? What? So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, mais oui. Who else would I find to cut my toenails? <laughs> you, you can't cut your own toenails? Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Was the guy briefcase? you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. That belongs like to a the baby. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know. But the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. 
I mean, talk to the people running America. I don't know. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I recognize that pattern anywhere. Can I have the jacket? Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn. So what? I <laughs> A pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside on the label. Well, who is Where it? Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. There's more? What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todd Rick, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74 98 59 You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that is a little secret number that I learned in the desert. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> It comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Why? I get a reward. Honesty, monsieur, is its own <laughs> reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. Do you want my tool? This is what I use to open the manhole cover. I have one just the same as that, monsieur. I will fetch it if you like. No, don't bother. Why? Oh, it Why? Don't bother, monsieur. Nah, forget it. Just trying to be helpful, monsieur. Is that I it? I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Raymond, I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. So the clown had escaped in the mm -hmm. suit, come up into the courtyard, and then slipped back into the street here. It wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had got. Okay, now what do I do? Do I leave? Oh, I can go places. Actually, I can call the lady. Um, wait, where was I? I guess over here. Let's call her really quick, I suppose? I don't know if that'll... If she has anything interesting to say, but... Wait, oh, okay. Wait, I'll call him. Hello? Who is this? Hi. My name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No. That's not possible. Oh, okay. Uh, forget it. <laughs> Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Ah, thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent lives at stake, Mr. Todrick. Lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. Uh, okay. What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Todrick. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you'll be, but sure I am. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> you're playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Do you know a guy called Plantar? No, I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Planta? How he was what are you doing, dude? Cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Planta. Okay. I Again. Planta is a family man, don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Planta is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. He can't wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. 
only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy, huh? <laughs> the faithful puppy dog, waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. What do you think? I don't know, Plantar. I never heard of Plantar. None of this has anything to do with me. Mm. <laughs> Just like bothering some random ass guy. Uh, okay, Thanks bye. For nothing, Todrick. <laughs> okay, we'll call her. <laughs> Hello, Nico Kulak. Hello, it's George. Ah, oh, wait. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, Yay. it wasn't easy. Look, oh. why don't you come in to my apartment later this afternoon? Uh, fine. Where do you live? 361 Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come over. Right now? I was used to working alone. But I had to admit, it felt good with George on the case too. But there were some things I was going to have to do alone. And fast. I needed the answers to some questions. Who was the costume killer? And why did he murder Carchon? Why did Carchon ask for me to interview him? How did he hmm. know my father? And why was my editor so scared? There was some kind of secret war going on out there. But who was on which side? One thing I did know. I wasn't going to get the answer sitting at my desk. Do I play as her now? Oh. Cool. Let's go ahead and save. Now we are Nico getting answers. Oh, getting ands. Okay. Well, uh, I guess maybe I'll just kind of chunk this into like different areas, but I feel like at some point, I mean, there was that world map and you can kind of go different places, but I don't know. I'll try to chunk this into logical pieces. So next time, let's go find answers as Nico. Yay! Bye!